Portion control, using smaller plates, just generally limiting your calories might make you lose weight in the beginning, but it is not the best way to lose weight and to maintain that weight loss. Let's dive into it. My name's Autumn. I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's in nutrition human performance. And today's video is sponsored by Element. More on them in a bit. Okay, here's why portion control just doesn't work. What all of the different portion controls generally do is broad spectrum lower the calories of everything. I mean, take a look at this example. Here we have the smaller plate example where you're supposed to eat a smaller amount of food just on a smaller plate. So it kind of tricks your brain into thinking you're eating more, or at least that's the idea. But interestingly, researchers have actually found that this tactic doesn't work, particularly for those who are hungry, which I don't know about you, but most people following just a general calorie restricted protocol, they're hungry. And this study defined those as being hungry with just not eating for three hours only three hours. And this makes sense why it doesn't work because the quality and the quantity of the food hasn't changed. So why should your hunger response change? And when we're hungry, we're much more likely to reach for fast energy sources like sugar or refined carbohydrates to fill that void. Another portion control method that you've probably seen and maybe even used in the past is the hand method. Like this example, the palm of the hand for protein or a thumb of fat. What you'll also probably notice about this method, especially if you've been watching my channel for a while, is that this portion control method allows for quite a bit of highly starchy foods and specifically those that are considered high glycemic. Reason why is because these methods are usually just following the USDA guidelines, which we all know is very famous for their bottom of the pyramid. But let's take a look at an example from this article. Cereal, even a simple bowl of cereal, a one cup serving, and we're not talking about like frosted flakes or anything, but just simple corn flakes has a glycemic load of 20. That is considered a high glycemic load. I'm editing this right now, but I just had to cut in because I know I'm I'm gonna get some people who are like, oh, the all brand says it's so much lower in their glycemic load. Take a look at what most Americans are eating for their cereal. These are the top most purchased cereals in America. I'm not seeing all brand on there. And that's assuming that you stick to the one cup serving, which you and most people probably won't because cereal is pretty much pure carbohydrate that has no protein or fat to make you satisfied, which means you'll just wanna eat more. So the glycemic load is probably even higher. And the higher glycemic load, the higher insulin response, which is our storing hormone. And consider Considering at least one third of Americans are insulin resistant, this is just adding further fuel to the fire. Another problem with this method is that it gives a standard amount of protein for each person. Either one palm for women, two palms for men. Or you might see it displayed as a portion of the plate, like with this example. This is already wildly false because everyone has much different protein needs, which if you're curious on yours, I do have a video where you can calculate your individual protein needs. I'll have that linked right up here. But if you look back at this plate example, which is pretty similar to a lot of the plate examples, it bundles all foods that have protein in it together. Fish, meat, beans, and nuts. These are not equal. In fact, some of these can't even claim to be protein. The dia score is a measure of protein quality. This basically means it measures how well we absorb and use a certain type of protein. Anything with a score of 75 to 100 is considered a good quality protein. Anything above 100 is usually considered an excellent source of protein. Now this chart shows things like peanuts and walnuts and almonds and various seeds as good quality proteins, but they aren't. Each of these has a dia score ranging from 40 to 50, which means that it literally can't even make a protein claim. One of the few plant-based items that they're actually showing on this plate that can make a protein claim are chickpeas. And and ironically, the one that's actually even the highest from a plant-based source, fermented soy products, isn't even on there. And this matters if you're looking to achieve a weight loss goal because high quality protein is crucial for achieving a body recomposition goal, which is where you're losing body fat while maintaining or even increasing muscle mass. Now, all animal-based proteins are going to have a score of 100 or higher on the diet score. So ideally, at least for plant-based and vegetarian sources of protein on this plate example, they could show things like Greek yogurt, tempeh, or cottage cheese, which, isn't listed. But this all still assumes that you're going to eat a specific set of protein that is not tailored to you, and because of that will likely leave you hungry anyway, therefore leading you to eat foods that are not in line with your goals. But you don't have to be hungry to lose weight, and you don't have to be measuring everything out to lose weight either. But before we move on to what you can do instead, I want to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Element. Element is an amazing zero sugar electrolyte company that was specifically created with fasting in mind. So if you follow a lower carbohydrate diet, or if you're really active, or if you are using intermittent fasting, it's really easy to lose a 
a lot of water and electrolytes and cause things like headaches or muscle fatigue or low energy. Element contains the sodium, the magnesium, the potassium to help replace those lost electrolytes, all without any sugar, making it a much better option from a weight loss goal perspective. I personally use the unflavored element during my intermittent fast, especially after or sometimes before my morning workout to make sure I'm starting off my day in an electrolyte balanced state. But I also really like to use their flavored options during my eating window, like their mango chili or their orange salt or their raspberry salt. And it's really easy to use. Element comes in these little packets that make it super simple to even travel with. And all you do is tear open the packet, dump it in about 16 to 24 ounces of water, give it a shake and you're ready to go. And right now Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serve packets free with any Element order. It's a really great way to test out all eight flavors. So you can get yours at drinkelement.com forward slash autumn. This is only available through my link. So make sure to check out drinklmnt.com forward slash autumn. The link will be in the description down below. Now, wouldn't it be great to lose weight without having to track calories and without having to feel hungry? And would you believe me if I said that you actually have this internal portion control system that you don't have to self monitor? It can help to regulate how much your body actually needs and make it so that you're not hungry when your body has had enough. In research, this form of eating is called ad libitum eating. Basically, it just means eating until you're satisfied or eating as much as you want. And believe it or not, there's actually a lot of research showing various forms of ad libitum eating and sustainable weight loss. You most often see it with diets that are moderately or higher in protein. You'll also see it in diets that are lower in carbohydrates, but also typically paired with that higher protein. This is because these two forms of eating prioritize two really important nutrients for satiety, protein and fat. These two combined cause the body to release really strong satiety hormones such as peptide YY and CCK. And it's interesting to note that in these various portion control diets that we talked about earlier, like with the hand method or the plate method, they tend to greatly limit fat, but also even make the sizes of protein very small or not emphasizing high quality sources, which is why those types of diet protocols have to resort to portion control or calorie restriction because you're not getting enough of the protein or fat to feel satisfied. In fact, one study states, several lines of evidence suggest that low circulating peptide YY concentrations predispose towards the development and or maintenance of obesity. And remember, protein is what raises peptide YY. So what this is saying, if you're not eating enough protein, you're actually predisposing yourself to obesity. And unfortunately, a lot of people are under this false idea that they're getting way too much protein or at the very least they're getting enough. But more recently, Recent research has not only found that the dietary guidelines that most people are basing this idea off of, that those recommendations are incredibly way too low. But on top of that, a lot of people aren't even hitting that bare minimum level of protein. This can lead to hunger, sugar cravings, muscle loss, and the resultant increased insulin resistance. And of course, a likely increased risk of osteoporosis in the future. So instead of limiting everything on the plate with the standard portion control methods, load up on the foods that actually make you satisfied and not hungry and naturally help to regulate regulate your body's intake of nutrients and food. This means really prioritizing protein, especially the amount for your body's needs and getting enough high quality fat to make sure that you're raising those satiety hormones and feeling satisfied. But it is so important to make sure that you're choosing high quality sources and that you actually know what those high quality sources of protein are. Even if you're plant-based, there are much better options than just nuts and seeds. So if you wanna figure out some of the best protein options to help support your goals, you can check out this video next. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love this science-backed information, make sure you subscribe right here come out new videos every tuesday and thursday all right guys thanks so much for tuning in and i'll see you in my next video